Hello, my name's Geraldine and welcome to our third Messy Church. Last week we did the colour orange and I've coloured in the orange band on the rainbow and the giraffes. If you would like to colour in one of these sheets, you can download it from our website, kelvedonandfearingchurches.co.uk. This week, our colour is yellow, and when I think of yellow, I think of sunshine and sand. So this week, we're going on a holiday. So we're at the seaside. I've drawn a picture of the waves coming in onto the sandy beach. There is a story about footprints in the sand and how God carried someone in times of trouble. So now I'm going to see whether I can get my feet messy. First of all the toes, then the heel and the bit in the middle. Let's see, one step, and then my toes, then my heel. There we go. very good footprints but you can get an idea. I'm sure you'll be able to do something better than me. If you go on Google you can find out the story about footprints in the sand. I thought for our second craft we would bake some coloured sand jars. It's very easy to do. It's all made from salt. So find a nice jar not too big. You will need some salt and some chalk and you rub the chalk into the salt and see it's becoming blue. And I've done this with several colours, orange, Blue, yellow, and finally purple. And I've also made a little funnel out of paper so that I can tip my sand into the containers. So, first of all, we need to put some sand coloured sand in. So I'm going to start with yellow. And if I've if you do it over paper and you make a mess, you can just throw it away nice and easily afterwards. Turn it round. Some pink. Orange. Then keep going. Give it a little pat. And then to get the lines in the sand, if you use a wooden skewer, be careful of the point, you don't want to hurt yourself or someone else, and push the skewer down the edge of the glass and then raise it up again. You can see it's made a line. You can do this all the way around, up and down. And down, up and down. And you can top off your jar. Need to make sure that it's well 
full to the top. off with the last of the salt. Then you just need your lid and you have a nice jar full of coloured sand like you would if you'd gone to somewhere like Allen Bay where there's coloured sand on the cliffs. So for our final craft, for our animal craft, I thought we would make a lion mask like this. You could use a paper plate, but I hadn't got a paper plate, so I had to make do with using a sheet of card. First of all, I drew around a plate, and then using something slightly smaller, I drew around this bowl. You then cut out the bigger circle like that. And then you need to make a shape for the eyes. So you draw round like this. So it looks like a big nose. But in fact, that's exactly what it is. It's the lion's big nose. You might need an adult to help you start this because you need to cut round. in and cut round the nose, then back to the circle so you can see and then when you turn it over you have your shape. Then you need to do the nose. it in. You can use felt tip pens and I'm sure you could make it look a lot prettier than that. Then you need to make the fringe and I've used yellow paper and orange paper. And I've cut along like this to make a nice fringe. Then using a prep stick along the edge. I've stuck the fringe on like so. And then I've also cut some whiskers for some black card, just cutting strips like this. And again, you need some glue. And you can stick your whiskers on like that. I'll go back to my original one that I've made because my whiskers fell off. Let's put my whiskers back on, like so. So to finish making your lion's mask, you need to attach a piece of card, a strip of card, staple it on, staple it on again on this side. And then you have your mask ready to wear.
just like that. I hope you won't find a lion on the beach, but in fact you can find about lions in the Bible. You look for Daniel and the lion and how he took a thorn from a lion's foot. So let us close with a prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for holidays. Pray for everyone who's been lucky enough to go away this year and for those of us who stayed at home. Please keep us all safe until we meet again. Amen. Hope you have a lovely week and hope to see you again next week. Bye.